Yo, welcome back to the 2K simulation series we're running on the channel. Started back in 2009, last video, rewinded the NBA, uh, simulated to see if everything got had a second go, what would happen. We are now in the 2010 off season after an Oklahoma City Thunder NBA Finals win. And uh, this off season is definitely gonna be interesting. We're gonna see who retires earlier or later than normal. We're gonna see who goes where in the off season, who drafts who in the 2010 NBA draft. Gonna be a lot of monumental changes starting here for the rest of the series. We'll go straight into player retirements. You got Juwan Howard, and AI is out the league. I don't remember what league, what year he graduated, but uh, 2010 seems about right. He may have stayed another year or two. Ben Wallace is out of here, Anthony Carter. Uh, no other crazy notable names, maybe Grant Hill. Greg Popovich calls it a career after the San Antonio Spurs missed the playoffs for this first time in like 10 years. So he's calling it early before a dynasty can even be created. Um, in San Antonio. Well, I guess they already had a, a few finals wins up at this point, but he feels the dynasty is over. As you see, AI goes into the Hall of Fame. Grant Hill gets his jersey retired with the Pistons, but the Sixers don't feel like AI's jersey deserves retirement, apparently. Uh, go over to the draft lottery. Pistons got the first pick. Grizzlies, Kings, nothing surprising there. Let's see how the NBA draft suits up. Here are our top prospects in 2010 NBA draft. You got John Wall. Demarcus Cousins, Derek Favors, Gordon Hayward, Paul George in here, Wesley Johnson. We got Hassan Whiteside. And yeah, those are the only crazy notable names. Um, it is gonna be interesting to see if Paul George stays on the board as long as he did in real life. What was he picked, like 13 or something? He was pick 10, pick 10 in the 2010 NBA draft. Uh, I assume we'll see him go a little bit earlier. Uh, we'll see though. With the first pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select DeMarcus Cousins is off the board first. He jumps all the way up to the number one overall pick. I'm pretty sure John Wall was like the unanimous number one here, but I guess DeMarcus Cousins, since we did simulate, you know, a whole season, he just popped off. Uh, his what freshman season maybe sophomore season at Kentucky I think he was a one and done uh, yeah he popped off and he solidified the number one overall pick to the Pistons and here you see the Sacramento Kings on the board I assume yeah they'll take John Wall here so you'll see the Kings have to settle for John Wall after their franchise DeMarcus Cousins is picked earlier than they expected uh, the Grizzlies do take Paul George he goes from the 10th to the third overall pick goes to Memphis. Uh, let's see if there's anything else interesting going on here. Pacers get Eric Bledsoe. Wesley Johnson goes to the Nets. And then Derek Favors to the T-Wolves. Gordon Hayward to the Wizards. And I'll go ahead and sim to the end and see if we see anything else. Hassan Whiteside went to the Pelicans and that's the only crazy notable name we see here. But yeah, history definitely changing. Uh, the Pistons have a franchise center in DeMarcus Cousins. We'll see if he uh, drops off as early as he did in real life. You see the Kings get John Wall and he may not get injured as much as he did in real life. They may have a real franchise piece there. Kind of funny, he's like pretty much just De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> They're like the same player. Uh, so they'll be able to build around a De'Aaron Fox type of player early. Uh, you got the Grizzlies getting Paul George and the Grizzlies roster really isn't even bad. They have Mike Conley, what, Mark Gasol, Zach Randolph, and now Paul George. So if he progresses quick, quickly, we might see the Grizzlies as contenders. Um, and of course, another interesting part of this offseason is going to be the free agents. And we'll see who's declared free agency. Carmelo Anthony, Chauncey Billups, Darren Williams, Amari Stoudemire. You know, a notable name I don't see in here is LeBron James. Chris Bosh, of course, in here. Gerald Wallace, Shaq making it back in here, Vince Carter. Yeah, man, I guess I guess LeBron re-signed after the Cavs made it to the final. Baron Davis also in here. So yeah, um, let me go check the Cavaliers and make sure my assumption is right. And yeah, LeBron James signs a three-year contract extension with the Cavs, so he's not going to the Heat. Chris Bosh, on the other hand, we'll see, we'll see. I'll go ahead and look at the next rosters in the next NBA season. Uh, the Bucks keep Andrew Bogut, but they signed Gerald Wallace. 
who spent last year with the Bobcats. So that's pretty cool. D Rose has gone up five overall since last year. He's still here. This is supposed to be his MVP season. Uh, we'll see if he can clutch it out and get it. You know, the Cavs kept LeBron and added Vince Carter, getting rid of Shaq. So this team got even better. Uh, the Celtics still keep their main guys together. And an up and coming Paul George, uh, who may not even make the rotation. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how the Grizzlies progress through here. The Heat got Carmelo Anthony instead of LeBron James. Uh, Chris Bosh didn't come over, but they got Melo. So we're gonna see if this Heat team can dominate, you know, like they're lined up to do. 290 plus overall players and an up and coming Michael Beasley. They may be a dynasty with a different big three. This one led by Dwayne Wade. That's actually really cool. Kings got Chris Bosh. So Chris Bosh did leave the Raptors and came to Sacramento where he's gonna pretty much leave this team, but they did get John Wall. So maybe we'll see a little one-two punch with maybe even a, you know, a big three in the future with John Wall, Tyreek Evans, and Chris Bosh. We'll see if they can progress into something. Uh, you see the Nets got Darren Williams just like in real life. That's hella cool. So Darren Williams does come from the Jazz to the Nets just like he did. Uh, the Chauncey Billups leaves Denver and comes and joins up with Darren Will Williams, see if they can make a run at something. Uh, Brooke Lopez is no longer the centerpiece, so his morale is down, I guess is what you can call that. Uh, the Nuggets keep J.R. Smith. Uh, looks like they extended him for one more year. Uh, or unless his contract wasn't up yet, but I feel like it was. So maybe they got him for a one-year deal and he'll stay in Denver a year longer. You got Shaq. Yeah, this team is definitely just full of old dudes. The Nuggets look garbage. He is still ugly as hell, bro. Chris Paul still here, but not progressing. I did notice his potential was kind of low. Chris Paul just may not be that guy anymore, man. Uh, Kirk Heinrich coming over from Chicago to Detroit. Of course, this team is still just god awful. This, you know, Rockets team is definitely, uh, should probably blow it all up and rebuild, but I guess they're gonna try to go for it all with Kyle Lowry. They're gonna be so bad. Oklahoma City Thunder picked up Omari Stoudemire. Prime Mari, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, bro, this is a super team. We did see a super team get created. It's just way different than what we thought. Their starting five is Westbrook, Harden, KD, Prime Amari Stoudemire, and then either Jeff Green or Sergi Baca. Bro, <laughs> like what? And then they have depth out the ass. So yeah, this Thunder team is dominating. We see Steph Curry here take a ginormous step from last year as rookie season. 87 overall, Monte Ellis here as well. And uh, yeah, that is gonna wrap it up for the off season and free agency portion. Let's go ahead and jump into the 2010, 2011 NBA season and uh, see how things change. I'll see y'all at the end of it. Yo, what? Russell Westbrook on a team with two other, three other superstars finds a way to be 0.1 assists away from averaging a triple double what like seven six years early god damn well russell westbrook is your 2011 mvp instead of derrick rose demarcus cousins wins rookie of the year here you got carlos boozer coming in as the sixth man uh dwight howard dpoy what we'd expect uh he won in real life as well and most improved pavel yurkic no idea who this guy is, but he's not Kevin Love, and that was the MIP in real life. Uh, let's go ahead and march into these All-NBA teams. Of course, Westbrook made it. You know, another name I'm not seeing is Kobe. Did he get snubbed for a second straight year? Brooke Lopez also up here. What the hell? Instead of Dwight Howard? Where's Dwight, bro? <laughs> there he is, Dwight Howard, and still no Kobe. Derrick Rose did make a second team, though. Still had an absolute monster year. Uh, Blake Griffin and Kevin Love up here as well. Ooh, which one call it? Chris Paul made a third team. No, Kobe. He must have gotten hurt, bro. Melo made it up here. Bosh as well. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't see any Kobe Bryant. He had to have gotten hurt. Josh Smith with an all defensive first team. Sheesh. Yeah, that's definitely surprising. Um, there's Kobe. 
all defensive second team. He did regress to a 94, but like he didn't make an all NBA team. He played every game this season, every game. And he only got as good as the all defensive second team. Man was slacking. Kirilenko on the second team too after winning DPOY. You gotta be on the first team, brother. Uh, Andrew Bynum up here, okay Bynum. Um, rookie first team, of course, Cousins, Wall, Hayward. You know who I don't see? Paul George. Man didn't make a single team. I told you he may not play. He, he looks like he didn't or he got hurt. Here is your 2011 NBA playoffs. Uh, this one is definitely gonna be an interesting one. Probably gonna take the Thunder to come out on top, but I don't know if anyone has noticed. But the Dallas Mavericks, the 2011 NBA champions, are not even in the playoffs to contend. So <laughs> history's gonna be changed already. 2011 champion is already completely different. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and blow through the first round again. Uh, just to get that out of the way, too many matchups to cover. The Cinderella Clippers are out. Uh, the Miami Heat are eliminated early. Dwayne Wade and Carmelo going home. Uh, of course, they made the finals in in real life, so we're gonna have a completely different finals matchup again. The Spurs are gone early. The Sixers, I don't think were that good. They're gone. Grizzlies are gone early. Uh, you got the Lakers eliminated too. What is 2011, bro? The conference final is supposed to be. Chicago, Miami, OKC, and Dallas. And we've already seen two of those teams eliminated. Three of those teams eliminated. OKC is the only team left after the first round. And now the Magic are gone with Dwight. Yeah, this is nuts. I don't even know what the rosters look like for the remaining teams, bro. Uh, Stephen Curry making a run early. Who do the Timberwolves even have? Let me see this. Oops. Oh yeah, Kevin Love, but that's really it. Who do they beat? They beat the Spurs in five with just K-Love? Okay, pop off then. Uh, you know what's actually crazy, bro? The Mavericks are here. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm over here talking big game like everything's about to change. The Mavericks are still here. They're giving it a run. I don't know how I miss them right next to like the biggest basketball franchise ever. Um, anyways, but they beat the Lakers. They're the ones that got through them. Uh, so this conference semifinals has a little bit of spice to it. You got LeBron against the big three in Boston. You have, who's on the Hawks? You got Joe Johnson and Al Horford. What is this? Marvin Williams all making a run for it. I, I should check the trades. I didn't see if there were any big trades. I haven't noticed anything off the chart so far. There are a couple slight trades, nothing crazy though. Landro Barbosa to the T-Wolves, Kendrick Perkins to the Knicks, Channing Frye to the Kings. Uh, other than that, maybe you wanna talk about Darko, talk about Darko moving, Reggie Edgy. Reggie Evans moving, uh, but nothing too crazy. So uh, trades didn't really alter much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and simulate through this round to see what our conference finals matchups are. And now, now the Mavericks are eliminated. Uh, now we will have the different finals. Uh, you see the T-Wolves being eliminated, no surprise there. The Bucks gone, the Celtics lose to the Cavs. And here are the conference finals matchup. You have the reigning NBA finals champions in the Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the Steph Curry led Warriors. You have the Cleveland Cavaliers going against a Hawks team, but I don't even remember being that good. Um, yeah, man, they're okay. Like, they're not bad. Joe Johnson, Al Horford, you know, they can carry a team, but like conference finals? Look at the Cavs, bro. They're stacked. Anderson for Eric Al's their worst player. Yeah, the Cavs got that, man. Uh, and of course, this matchup, we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and simulate the other game. Looks like the Hawks won it. Um, we're gonna see oh, Westbrook, Harden, Durant, Stoudemire, Jeb, bro. That's not even fair. The Warriors aren't even bad, bro. But no way the Thunder lose any of these games, man. Um, might as well simulate the round. Uh, we see the Cavs tie it up, take the second game. I don't even need to comment the freaking OKC series. 3-1 Cavs. Of course, the Thunder make it. And we have an NBA Finals rematch. LeBron getting his third chance. He's now 0-2 in the Finals at this point in his career after last year's loss to the Thunder. Uh, they match up pretty closely. They're definitely the best two teams in the league. Mo Williams can get there with Westbrook. Vince Carter and James Harden are dead even. LeBron James and KD are pretty even. You got 
why is KD a better overall than LeBron? KD's the one in the GOAT conversations now. Holy crap. Uh, Antoine Jameson is pretty even with Jeff Green. It's really the center position that blows everything open. I mean, Stoudemire is just going to dominate Verizal. That was a that was a huge signing in the offseason. But we'll go ahead and see what happens. Thunder take one. They split it. Thunder take. Oh, yeah. This is probably it. The Oklahoma City Thunder looking to win their second straight NBA Finals and their second Finals in NBA or in Thunder franchise history and there they are the Oklahoma City Thunder win it back to back uh, KD building up a GOAT reputation he's only 23 years old he has two finals two finals MVP and he's already kind of taken the reins from LeBron LeBron isn't in that conversation at this point in his career um, we're now comparing KD and MJ so we'll see how that story progresses throughout uh, <laughs> definitely a lot of interesting things happening here. You know what I didn't look at? I didn't look at the league leaders and stats for the season. So uh, I'll go ahead and put that in here. I'll go ahead and skim through this. You got KD leading the league in points, right? Right. But Russell Westbrook winning MVP. Where is he on this list? 19th in points. It's the fact that he, he was 0.1 away from a triple double. Like, I feel like you got to give it to him at that point. Uh, Brooke Lopez, no surprising rebounders there. Here assists, leaders, Westbrook, Rondo, and Lowry, pretty surprisingly. Nash and Paul are a little lower down here than you'd think. Um, steel leaders, you got Chris Paul, blocks Dwight Howard by a lot. And that'll wrap up your uh, statistics that I forgot to cover. I do apologize about that. Uh, but that'll wrap it up for the 2010-2011 NBA season, 2011 NBA Finals. Uh, next video, we're going to run through 2012, see how everything progresses there. We got the 2011 NBA Draft featuring players like Kyrie Irving, Ennis Cantor, Kemba Walker, Klay Thompson, Bismack Biombo, Nikola Vucevic, Tobias Harris, Jimmer for debt, see if he becomes a bucket, uh, layup brick, Brandon Knight, some notable names. So yeah, stay tuned for that 2011 offseason and NBA draft because it's going to be jam packed. Thanks for watching. Would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the way out and uh, I'll see you for the next one.